How cool does that look? All right, what's up everybody? We have our Raspberry Pi, and today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Zebra Virtue case. It's a case that actually comes with a fan. I love having a fan, a little extra bit of cooling. That's a great feature to have. I took off the rubber band off the fan, so now I have the, the, the wire loose. It does have instructions here on which pin to put it on. You want it on pin four and six. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unwrap everything. This is the screws for the fan. This is actually the heat sinks from the Canna kit, but I wanted to compare them to the ones that are in this kit here because this kit does come with heat sinks as well. So, I'm gonna do a professional job of, of cutting open this plastic here. I'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing. Okay, so to get started, you have a couple L brackets and some regular brackets, and so just the, the actual top and bottom as well. Okay, so you have one, two, three brackets. They all look the same. We should have a fourth somewhere. Yeah, here we go. And then you have like a another bracket here. Oh, uh, they give you all three heat sinks. Look at that. So you actually get a heat sink for the RAM on the bottom as well. It's a nice little perk. You have the uh, things that go on the bottom. Here is our pie. Let's put on our heat sinks first. Let's just do the bottom first. Double sided tape. All right, so we got that one on. It's a little bit to the left, but that's all right. It'll be okay. We will survive, people. We will survive. I kind of want to do the smaller one first because it's a little bit more compact in that area with my big fingers. Okay. And then the processor. Okay. Awesome. All right. I removed all the paper. We're looking pretty good. I'm now gonna get the bottom piece. And this is the actual bottom, right? Because you flip it over, you wanna be able to see the name brand on the bottom. So this goes like this now, right? Because it doesn't need to make sense if you're looking, the pie's gonna be blocking this. So you're, not, you're never gonna be reading it like that. You're gonna be reading it like this. And it's gonna say Zebra Virtue, right? So here's our bottom. Next thing you wanna do is put the four screws in the bottom to kind of start the base. We're gonna build, basically you build this bottom up, okay? I'm gonna do some, uh, as you can see, I'm already getting fingerprints on here, and uh, as we go through the video, I'm just gonna you know, wipe them off with a little cloth. That's not a big deal, okay? Speaking of which, I, you should probably cloth the inside though, because once we get this building, we're not gonna be touching the inside anymore. The outside, we can polish anytime. So to get started, you have the middle piece here, and it's only gonna fit on one way. You want the opening to be over by the SD card slot, micro SD slot, Remember the, so you got that. And then they say insert the second C shape. So they say enter, put the first C shape there, and then the second C shape as well. But this one, the opening goes here for the front. And then the fourth step, add the Raspberry Pi so you want to put this pie in with the faceplate on it. Definitely does not go back, vice versa. Okay, because it fits in this little slot over here. See how it goes in that slot? And then as you build this, it kind of goes over the faceplate. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, maybe this is where this goes, huh? Ah, this is a little air gap here. That makes sense. Get the little perforated air gap. 
Oh, wrong way. Oh, no, that's the right way. Okay, so this square, this, this square goes towards this side. So I know that goes like that, okay. And I know that this side has to go like that. I think that's it. Okay, so I have almost everything used. This is usually a good sign, right? When almost everything is used. So we got our fan on here. Got our fan on. We have the last four screws that are gonna, these last four are going to screw on the four. We've used every single piece except the rubber grommets, which I imagine is the last. We've got everything on here. Let's go ahead and plug in our pins. So the pins are on two and four and six. Uh, f red being four. So let's go ahead and put that on. All right, there we go. Got it on there. Okay, so we've got the, the fan on there. Finally have the fan, I just wrap the fan around, it's not in the way at all, it goes around the outside and then into the pin. Therefore it's not obstructing anything, I mean it's kind of in the view a little bit, but I feel like if I was to strap tie it, you'd still see like a big strap tie double up cable over here, or like on top of those pins there. Alright, so now we need to screw it in, and then we need to put on the legs. So just screw it in, and we got these little things here and our long screws. I'm just going to kind of place them in there very gently. Just get them in the right place and I'm going to flip this over. Okay, here we go. Risky maneuver number 999 in this tutorial. Okay, so that went down. And now these need to align somehow. Okay, look at that. Per this is pretty cool. Like it bare that little heat sink on the bottom, barely. It's like perfect height, not much pressure. You have the two little um, things here if you want to wall mount it. You got two cutouts here. You can freaking wall mount this thing. How cool does that look? You got a little air gap here for any wires you want to run through from your PGIOs. I don't want the legs to cover the logo. I don't want the legs to, you know, get in the way. So I'm thinking on the inside of all the bolts. So you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So I'm thinking the best place for these is going to be right inside the bolt. See that? Like right next to the bolt. That way, um, nothing's hanging off. Because if I put it in the far, far corner, A, these screws here are going to get in the way on that side. And then on the other side, it's going to protrude a little bit. And that will for sure... Uh, that will for sure have these come off much quicker. Or even come off, which is the way I'm doing it now. I don't think these are going to come off ever. I think they're protected enough that... Okay, so there you have it. That's where I'm going with those. Perfect. Look at that. Boom. Ba boom. Ba boom. Ba boom. Raspberry Pi 3. Okay. Alright, too excited. I was sitting here for a really long time making this thing. I'm sorry. So here's a Nacho 64 gig on here. And uh, remember, it faces down. The SD card faces down. I'm just putting it in there. It's actually fairly easy. So there you go. With a SanDisk Ultra in there. And then you can just put your fingernail and pull it out. So not too bad from that perspective. And then uh, let's power this on and uh, see what it looks like. Can you guys hear the fan? It's very quiet. Like, really quiet.
Wow, look how cool that is. That fan is spinning in there. You might not be able to see it, but it's spinning. Lights off. Pretty cool, people. Pretty cool. Again, this is the Zebra Virtue Case. I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a link to the pie kits I have. Lastly, as far as CPU temps, I'm getting somewhere between 34 and 40 degrees Celsius, depending on whether it's standby or on load. If you could, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.